there's a maturing that's taking place in the in the community and it's deepening it's getting richer it's becoming more fuller people are feeling more committed about being here I think in the earlier years it was a um, a transition community people would start here and move on to other communities and now people are really raising their families here and are wanting to make a commitment in terms of the infrastructure the kind of uh, character that we want to be as a community um, the kinds of people that we're attracting to live here in terms of values around family and connection and um, being good citizens. It's the magic of place making as well. And sometimes that's a physical thing and sometimes that's the community of people that you surround yourself with, people with like interests, um, children of the similar age, growing, going to school together now that there's schools in the areas, that kind of thing. So it's a place making that I think is maturing and, and people wanting to stay here and therefore creating and advocating for more um, opportunities to be in the community. We, we look at community from many different lenses, and sometimes we do that online, sometimes we do that in person, sometimes it's about interest groups, sometimes it's culture, age, um, yeah, and it's just being open to providing different platforms for people to express that type of community that they want to create. I think that there's a, a potential for places like um, our community to be a leader for other communities to see how it can be done. How do we intentionally create community? How do we retrofit existing communities to make them more vibrant? Um, but really this is about how the community, is, how we're being responsive to the community's needs and how they're actually creating the spaces and the places that they want to see that feed their souls and their sense of connection.